Hello, judges and audiences. My name is Tan Wen Tao, and I am in the team nine and six with my teammate Isaac Chong. I am we are from Singapore Nine Primary School. It's my first robotics competition with some experience in Scratch and App Inventor. Isaac, this is Isaac's first robotics competition too, with some experience in Scratch. Exclusive summary of the preliminary challenge. Cold Space GP RoboCup U12 Rescue Challenge is the category I am in. The challenge is to control a robot to pick up colored gems and deposit at designated place within six minutes. Understanding the boundaries of and rules of the scoring system. Avoiding the wall and traps. Picking up colored gems, red cyan and black with points. Deposit colored gems in the orange area when full. Problems I encountered was recognizing the colors, obstacle avoidance, defining and prioritizing tasks within stipulated time, and coding, which includes debugging and code optimization. Ghostface uh, re robot behavior verification and testing. Traveling such as traveling too fast, color recognition. The methods are to use the sensors to help recognize the obstacles and instructions. What to do when the environment changes. The result was that I tweaked the color recognition and the speed of the robot. Then I tweaked the wall and trap avoidance. The conclusion was that many of the problems were solved at first by trial and error, then strategizing and tweaking to have a satisfactory outcome. The analysis. The main task is to score as high points as possible within the six minutes. Programming the robot to pick up gems, depositing soonest after five collections. The robot also has to avoid obstacles and traps. The robot must certainly avoid getting stuck as a 10 second penalty will be deducted. The task can be broken down as follows. Collecting all gems, avoiding getting stuck, finding and recognizing the deposit locations, and tweaking the speed of the robot. Analysis. Solving the mini tasks will help solve the mission of scoring high points, but there needs to be a compromise as there is a time limit. Slower speed solves collection, but it slows the collection time. Avoiding more collision avoids getting stuck, but some gems cannot be picked up. However, solving the mini tasks does not always give high points performance. AI algorithm and resources. When the inventory is full, the robot will not collect any other objects. When loader objects is full, it will stop collecting gems. The advanced condition is loader objects is more than five equals no color recognition. To not deposit too soon. When the gems are less than three, the robot will not deposit. The advanced condition is loader objects is less than three equals to no color recognition. When there are no gems in its inventory, the robot will not avoid the traps. Do not waste time avoiding the traps. The advanced condition loader objects is more than one, then avoid traps. When one of the color sensors detects orange, the robot will turn to deposit. To deposit the gems to gain extra points and collect more gems afterwards. Recognizing the color orange to deposit gems. The advantage of using the tool is to be able to collect more gems more efficiently. Implementation. The tool being used to code the algorithms is done in the CodeSpace Robot AI Development Panel. Coding is object-oriented. Each code is programmed to carry out one task. Conditions with sensors available are ultrasonic sensors, color sensors, position, compass, and time. The statement types, actions, advanced conditions, and actions. Advanced action. Implementation. Algorithm A is avoiding walls. Sensing the distance, the position, and if it senses no wall, it will continue going straight. 
if it sends us a detect distance below 15, it will turn one wheel faster and turn. Algorithm B, to pick up colored gems. If it senses nothing, it will move forward. If it senses a color, it will stop. Red sign and black gems equals to pick up. Orange equals to deposit if it's semi-full. Yellow is a trap, so it will turn. If it's full, it will not sense gem colors anymore. Debugging. The issue was that most uh, most cyan and blue uh, the problems of cyan and blue section of the map. The solution was to make the RGB units a specific number rather than having a wide range. The issue is that the robot stops at the corner as it faces a wall every time and becomes stuck. The solution is to code such that the robot will turn backwards at the corner. Conclusion and further work. I tried to not always avoid the traps, and the robot had a low inventory by running the simulation a few times. I recorded on average a significantly better score in the graph below. Conclusion and further work. Possible improvements I could have done was to change the speed of the robot according to the coordinates. Turning policy at a certain environment as to move more efficiently and avoiding the walls and obstacles at locations with less chance. My learning experience was problem solving as a team, setting the common goal and strategy, hypothesis and testing, also dealing with disappointments such as getting stuck and meeting short of expectations. An important point I wish to share with other Code Space game players is to solve code beforehand. Thank you for listening.